performance improvements with high cardinality dimensions. Let's start by defining what is cardinality. Cardinality of a set is a measure of the number of elements of that set. So for example, the set A, blue, green, and red, has a cardinality of three because it has three elements. So what about high cardinality dimensions? Let's look at an example table to help us understand this concept. We've got a table with 250 million flights. Flight is the flight or route. So there's not a ton of these. In this data set, there are two and a half thousand flights. So you might consider this to be a low cardinality dimension. Airline is also a low cardinality dimension. There are only 35 of these in our data set. The plane tail number is a unique identifier for the plane itself. Airlines reuse these over different routes and are usually retired after 15 years depending on how many flights the plane has done. This is a high cardinality dimension, in our case containing 100,000 members. Finally, the minutes delayed is just a measure and its cardinality isn't as important because we won't be grouping by a measure. So now we're going to ask a question of this data. What are our 15 most delayed planes compared to the average? So let's go through the process of answering that question in Jaspersoft's ad hoc. We start by creating an ad hoc view. We drag in a dimension, plane tail number, and our measure, minutes delayed. We only want to show the top 15 planes and the average of all the others, so we use our top values filter. Underneath, in our underlying database, the Jaspersoft data engine creates some native queries. In this case, SQL is executed on our database. We group by tail number, which means we're going to get back 100,000 rows. This is where the performance has improved greatly in Jaspersoft 6.3. We now take the resulting groups and are able to crunch them much faster than before to display summaries of that data. The result is a faster, more responsive dashboard for everyone to use this data quickly. For fun, I hooked up a hyperlink that let us see the details of a plane. The most delayed plane in this data set is this 747 that you see here. Thanks a lot for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.